Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. Today I'm doing a demo and review of the Gion Q2 Wax, a hydrophobic and easy to apply wax with, in my opinion, one of the best performance to price ratios on the market. So uh, for those who are wondering, is wax dead? No, it is not. And a lot of people still enjoy uh, applying waxes by hand or with your polisher. So we're going to do a deep dive. I'm going to give you the lowdown on all the details behind the chemistry, a bunch of little secrets as well that I asked Gion for because I like to share a bunch of cool stuff with you guys, my viewers. Of course, you're going to see a demo. We're going to talk about uh, all the key points, the durability and all that kind of stuff. And of course, you're going to know how to apply this properly so you can get the best user experience. By the way, I want to thank Gion for sponsoring this video and making all of this possible. Uh, this is a three-part mini-series uh, to go and do a deeper dive on three key products over at Gion. So this being one of them, the Q2 Wax. But also note that I'll leave uh, links in the description for the other two videos because the uh, first one before this one was about the Gion Wet Coat. So a spray-on rinse-off sealant that gives you gloss slickness but also instant hydrophobic properties. Spray on a wet surface, rinse off, and that's it. You're good to go. That's how easy it is. And the other, if you haven't seen it yet, it will come in a few days. Again, I'll leave all of those videos linked in the description. Is the Q2M Glass Plus by Gion. So this is their new glass cleaner that also also adds hydrophobic properties. So more on that. By the way, uh, I'll leave the links to all of these uh, products, tools, and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do, as usual, is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So today we're focusing on Gion Wax. Uh, because, yeah, wax is not dead. So Gion, of course, they're known for their ceramic coating, guys. Uh, they're absolutely amazing, and including their Evo line that was released not too long ago. So the Evo line is for a more user-friendly experience, and this can also be applied outside in uh, good conditions. So uh, yeah, their performance is awesome. So Gion One is one of them. There's also Gion Pure for those who like that candy gloss appearance. And of course, the classic Mose, which is probably one of their more durable ones available to consumers to purchase. But the again, the user experience is amazing, especially with the Evo line. They made that even easier. But not everybody wants to uh, take all the time and effort needed to apply a ceramic coating. So of course, these will last one, two, three, four plus years, depending on which one you're getting, what conditions you live in. Of course, a lot of things influence durability, but ceramic coatings are some of the more durable forms of paint protection. Uh, but some people just still enjoy applying waxes, whether they're liquid waxes or paste waxes, uh, because they enjoy the process, they're more comfortable in doing it, and there's not as much of that prep involved. Of course, I always recommend uh, that you spend the most time prepping your paint because the results are going to be better for any form of paint protection, right? So a wash, you can decon the surface using an iron remover like Gion Iron. Uh, then you can clay the surface using like a Gion Mild Clay with their Gion Clay Lube if you want. And uh, it's up to you if you want to polish the surface to remove any oxidation, swirls, scratches, that kind of stuff and increase the gloss because it's through machine polishing that you're going to get the biggest increase in gloss on the paint, by the way, because uh, you're making the paint, of course, free of any defects. But but you're removing oxidation and you're making the paint flatter and truer, better light reflection equates to higher gloss. Uh, and then of course, use something like Gion Prep, so an IPA solution to remove those polishing oils and then you apply your protection. So that protection will perform better and will last longer. But the bare, bare minimum is to wash the vehicle and degrease the surface for any form of paint protection. And same applies for Gion Wax. Now, what is particular about this? First of all, look at the format it's in. So when we're saying, well, in my opinion, that it has unbeatable price to performance ratio is that you're getting a lot, a lot of performance and technology out of this. By the way, inside the box, which is, again, this is one of the strong suits of Gion. Not only is their product performance, but their packaging is amazing. So you're getting 6.1 ounces of this or 175 grams in there. So you can protect a lot of vehicles, but look at how special this is. So this is kind of like a lipstick or a deodorant kind of application. So you twist this here and you have more wax so and you apply it very easily because inside the box you get two things you get their half moon style applicator so this is a very soft applicator so you just roll this on the front you're going to see of course all of this in the demo but you roll it on you apply it and that's it apply the thinnest possible layer by the way a quick tip if you want the best user experience thinner is always better if you're just caking it on there you're going to make removal a mess and you're not getting more protection right so the thinnest possible layer 
and you also get a Gion bald wipe towel. So an edgeless towel, very short nap. It's going to make short work of all of that. So what's inside here? Is this just a wax? Is there ceramic technology? What are we talking about here? So basically what you're getting is synthetic paint sealants and polymers inside there. You're getting synthetic waxes. You're getting carnauba wax as well. Plus you're getting, get this, fluorine. So if you guys remember, but more on that in just a few seconds, you're also getting a UV protectant. All that technology also allows you to have resistance against chemicals. So that's what makes it very durable for a wax. So everything you need is in there. So fluorine, where have we seen this before? Do you guys remember the Gion booster? So that was a topper that you'd add, of course, to boost the hydrophobic properties. So they have some of that technology in there. And this is one of the reasons why this is probably one of the wax that has the craziest hydrophobic properties that I have ever tested. I had a previous video when you, where you saw this as well when they unveiled it. I had done an application uh, for you guys, but you're going to see some footage in this video. I mean, the hydrophobic properties are second to none. The water just runs off the panels so quickly. Anybody who has applied this noticed that. Uh, so any reviewer also talked about this in great, in great strides uh, because the hydrophobics are just so good. It really reminds me uh, of the performance of what a coating gives you as far as hydrophobic properties are concerned. Uh, also, they say hydrophobic uh, and extremely easy to use. So this is what they state here on the front. Uh, but one thing they don't necessarily boast about, but that I really, really enjoyed is the gloss that it provides. This is for sure one of the glossiest paste waxes you guys can apply. Believe me, uh, I had it. It's so glossy that in one of my videos I had about the glossiest paint protectants. This made the top ranks. Why? Because of that. So not only are you getting insane hydrophobic properties, not only is it super easy to apply, but you're getting that insane gloss. And that's, by the way, glossy on any type of color. So regardless what color your vehicle is, whether it's a light color, a white, a silver, or a dark color, those blacks, those charcoals, those candy reds, regardless, this is good on any one of those colors. Uh, so yeah, you're getting a lot packed as you can see uh, in this uh, in this guy not only can you use this uh, on many many vehicles but you're protecting things like first of all this is also good on your paintwork but you can apply this on your wheels and on glass as well so it's very versatile uh, in its use you apply the thinnest thinnest layer there is a minimum of 30 minutes to wait before you start removing it or buffing it but the cool thing is the longer you let it sit on the paint the easier it is to remove all right guys so we're ready to apply the Gion Q2 wax on this uh, demo vehicle behind me which is a 2020 Mazda CX-5 and if you guys recognized it well that's because it belongs to my brother Andy so I know you guys love seeing my brother in hey my guys. videos how's it going Andy pretty good yourselves we're pretty good but uh, again for those who didn't see the previous video that we did using Gion wet coat this is a spray on rinse off paint sealant instant hydrophobic booster so we did one half of the vehicle with Gion wet coat and we're doing the other half of the vehicle today with the Q2 wax so you guys are going to be able to compare the properties especially the hydrophobic properties and make a decision on which one uh, is better suited for your needs so my brother's car is neglected unfortunately so I wash my car twice weekly so in a year that's roughly 104 washes, right? Uh, Andy, remind us how many times you physically hand wash your vehicle this year? Uh, three times. Uh, guys. <laughs> We said that in the previous video, if you didn't see it, go check it out. But uh, he's Pan, the organizer's brother. You'd think that there's a higher standard, right? Uh, but anyhow, that's why I'm here. I love my brother to death and I'm going to help him revive the uh, coating that was applied on this vehicle. So it's a coating from another brand and it's a perfect example because you're going to see that the products that we're using in these videos can be applied on any protection that you currently have on your vehicle. Uh, and so same applies for Q2 Wax. It's going to be a perfect demo candidate. So in 2021, roughly two years ago, we applied a ceramic coating on this vehicle uh, because he does very little to no maintenance and also I think you brought your vehicle to automated car washes you said right how many times in the year uh, roughly once a month once every month so that's 12 times guys automated car washes use very harsh chemicals and they can start breaking down or weakening any type of paint protection so over prolonged use it's not recommended really uh, every two to three months on ceramic coatings or graphene coatings you're supposed to apply some side of some sort of topper and do a form of a maintenance wash it's important to keep the properties of your coin coating uh, of your coating going uh, they're not magical force fields that you just apply and forget that's not how that works they still need a bit of maintenance and that's the whole point applying a coating 
it makes your vehicle a lot easier to clean during your maintenance washes. Uh, as you're going to see on screen, the water properties or the hydrophobics before we apply uh, Q2 wax on the flat panel and vertical panel, uh, they're not the best. The water beads aren't super tight, aren't super round. The water is still sheeting at a decent rate, so the protection is still definitely there, uh, but it is much weakened over the years because of neglect. So today we are going to revive that because you see the water is pooling a bit slowly and it's a bit slower to sheet off. So we're going to change all that today with the Q2 wax. Now, for the prep of the vehicle, uh, I washed it entirely, initially using a pH neutral uh, car shampoo, uh, but I noticed that that wasn't enough to remove the muck and the grime. We're still uh, in the winter time here, not quite springtime when we're filming this. Um, so there was a lot of embedded brake dust as well, so the iron contamination. So what I used uh, the next shot to wash the vehicle was this, so Gion Restart Wash. This is a decon shampoo, so better degreasing properties. It has an iron remover built in to remove that brake dust and those iron particles uh, that are rusting on top of the vehicle. And so it was a great shampoo. You use 10 to 20 mils of this in a bucket with 10 to 15 liters of water. Uh, if you're uh, converting in ounces, don't overthink the moment. It's roughly an ounce for every three to four gallons of water and you're good to go. And it helped to really degrease the surface, prep decontaminate as well, and uh, make sure we have a clean surface to work with. And it did start to restore a bit of the hydrophobic properties. So that's one good thing of restart wash. That's why they call it restart. It helps to rejuvenate the coating if the coating is still in good shape, right? So what we're going to be doing in the uh, Q2 wax box, you get the Gion bald wipe, so a edgeless microfiber towel for removal. You get, of course, the wax, which, by the way, is in this awesome roll-on system, kind of like a body deodorant. Why? Well, because they also give you this applicator. So basically a half moon, if you want, foam applicator. It's so you can roll it on easily and apply it. Super smart thinking. And the technique I'm going to be using today, I prefer a two towel method with this wax. And what Gion recommends is their uh, Q2M polish wipe the Evo package, so the new one for the initial uh, buffing off. And for the second wipe, that's when you're gonna use the uh, Gion bald wipe. So I'm gonna use the two towel method. Once you apply, you gotta let it set on the paint for at least half an hour. They actually recommend that you wait longer. You can actually wait till the next day before you buff it off. It's gonna be even easier, but at least 30 minutes before you start buffing it off and apply the thinnest possible layer. Now I'm gonna show you two application methods. The first one by hand using the applicator and then with a dual action polisher and a soft uh, waxing pad or a finishing pad. And you're gonna see this is gonna increase your speed and efficiency. So that's one of the quick pro tips. So let's show you just how easy it is. So on this half of the vehicle, we're going to be applying the Q2 wax. So you take your foam applicator, you're gonna take your Q2 wax and you simply roll it on there. And there you go, you have it on your applicator and you can apply a few lines. Now, because this doesn't contain any abrasives, guys, it doesn't matter if you do circular motion or up and down and left and right as you want. You're not gonna scratch the paint. This is super soft, and again, there are no abrasives. So the entire purpose of this is look how easy this is. It goes on smooth like butter. So they really thought of the user experience. And now for those who are wondering, uh, like I said in the video, there's always the claimed durability in perfect conditions, right? So you can expect in harsh conditions anywhere uh, around three months of durability with this. If you live in a gentler uh, climate, you can expect up to six months of protection. But again, durability in the real world, guys, depends on many factors, as you guys know. So on the prep, what was there before? on the maintenance that you're doing, what conditions you guys live in as well. That is very key. How much mileage you do. There are tons of variables to account for. So is it gonna be one month, two months, four months, five months, six months? That really depends, again, on many factors. And actually, let us know where you live so we can know your conditions. And if you tried this, how long it lasted for you. But you're gonna see how simple this is to apply. And we're saying waxing is not dead because many people who are too afraid or who are not um, let's say, ready to apply ceramic coatings on their car yet, the full-blown ones in glass bottles. Well, everybody knows how to wax a car, right? We all enjoy doing this, and we used to do this when I was young, at least when I started detailing at 16 years old. That's over 25 years ago at this point. Uh, well, we were hand waxing our vehicles, but this has so much technology built in now. So we're gonna let that sit. Uh, for at least half an hour. We're actually gonna wait a little longer because the removal is gonna be much easier. But now you're gonna follow me because we're going to apply this with a dual action polisher. So again, if you wanna increase your speed and your efficiency, 
and also how even of a coat you're going to get. Well, this is a great option. Uh, what you're gonna do, you're gonna use the low speed setting. So on most polishers, speed one or two, you're not using high speed for this when you're applying the Q2 wax. You're also gonna use uh, the uh, softest pad you can. So either for finishing or for applying a liquid sealant or liquid wax or paste wax or paint sealant, uh, basically uh, no cutting capabilities, right? So again, we're going to apply this on the surface. Look, look how simple this is. Look at that, there you go. And you get a full coat. We're gonna set this aside. We're going to dab a little on the surface and then you just go to town. And that's how quick the application was. So in a matter of a few minutes, again, you can do your entire vehicle. You can also apply this not only to paintwork, but to your wheels and also to glass. Uh, ideally, by the way, if you have some porous plastic trim, I still recommend that you tape that. In this case, this is just some flat um, plastics. So Gion says it should not stain it. Still, if you get a bit uh, of uh, overrun on there, just take a towel and immediately wipe that off from the tr plastic trim, but uh, you should be fine. It shouldn't stain the, uh, the plastics as long as they're not porous. So now let's apply this on glass. And of course you can use a smaller polisher for the tighter areas for the purpose of this demo to fill in where the uh, bigger five inch head can reach. We're gonna use the applicator. There we go. Same thing here for the mirror. It's all about the details, guys. We're gonna let it cure and come back for the wipe off. So guys, it's been roughly 90 minutes at this point since we applied the wax. We removed it on the rest of the vehicle, but I'm gonna show you the removal process on the hood so you guys can see how simple it is. One trick when you're applying any form of paste wax or liquid wax, when it's done that haze and it's time to remove, well, you take your finger, you simply swipe on the surface and you're gonna look at the results and there's no greasy trail left. So that indicates that it's time to remove. So. To do so, we have two towels. I'm gonna to first use the uh, Gion uh, Polish Wipe Towel and we're gonna follow up with the Bald Wipe for the final buff. So you take this and there you go. Removal is so simple. And again, the longer you wait, the, easiest, the easier this process is going to be. So you can wait until even the next day if you want to uh, let it set there and remove, it's gonna be even easier. So. That initial grabby feel, as soon as you break through the surface tension of the initial wipe, well then the surface becomes super, super slick. And that gloss, I think my brother could already tell on the side panels, eh Andy? Absolutely, no, it's fantastic. So although both are super, super glossy, both wet coat and the Gion wax, is there one that you think you prefer so my viewers know? because you know your car very well, you live with it. Which one gives you the uh, best gloss of the two? The Gion Wax. The Gion Wax, eh? Yeah, it is one of the glossiest products. It was featured, by the way, in my glossiest paint protectants video, if you guys want to check that out. And yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. When you're applying, you wait at least half an hour minimum before removing it. But when you're done removing, you can drive in the inclement weather if it's raining outside, no problem. Just keep in mind it, reach, it reaches its maximum performance and efficiency 12 hours after the application. So we're done applying. I know you guys are dying to see the hydrophobic properties. We're gonna have a look at that. But uh, yeah, just look at the finish. This looks gorgeous. What I'm gonna do on this side, because we have wet coat applied on the passenger side and the wax applied on the uh, driver side, we're gonna be able to compare both side to side. So let's start by looking at the hydrophobic properties on this flat panel. That is insane. And that's exactly what I remember the first time I applied Gion Wax in another video is that crazy, crazy hydrophobic properties. It is nuts. Look at how round and tight the water beads are, are now compared to what they, for, they were before the application. So let's do that one more time and then we're gonna compare both sides. Look at this water beading. Unbelievable. Look at the tightness and the roundness of those water beads. So let me do one more thing. I'm gonna show you the sheeting, how quickly it sheets off.
And look at that. Look at how quickly the water flees off. I barely have time to create a pool. It's just super hydrophobic. So now let's have a look left and right. So the wet coat compare to the wax so you guys can have a look. And there we go. What do you guys think? Look at the difference in hydrophobics. Come on closer. Have a look at the water beating. So on this side with Gion Wax. And then if you move to the left, here we have Gion Wet Coat. So both sides have tight and round water beads. I think there's a slight advantage on this side as far as hydrophobics are concerned, but I know that the self-cleaning properties, you have a slight advantage on this side here with the wet coat over time, but both are exceptional. Let's go see now on the vertical panel. So you guys can have a look at what the wax looks like. So we covered both the glass and the paint, so you're gonna see both. And look at that. It, I call it water bead dancing on the paint because it feels like the beads are dancing. Look how fast they sheet off. Look at that. It is insane. For the hydrophobic properties, the Gion wax is some of the best. This is, again, akin to properties we see on high-end ceramic coating. So let's do that one more time. And boom. Very, very quick sheeting of the water. There's not that many droplets left. So uh, yeah, for those who love a quick sheeter, this is amazing and the tightness of the beads. Let's have a look at the glass too, so you guys can see what that gives. You see how fast those beads just come off? It is insane. Absolutely love the hydrophobic properties. So I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the demo. Let's go talk about more of the details. Woof, that is absolutely insane. I call it sick, guys. So Gion Q2 Wax, crazy hydrophobic properties. You're getting intense gloss and shine. You're getting that slickness, that super ease of application. But don't forget, you're getting a lot of technology, right? Those synthetic polymers, you're getting those synthetic waxes, you're getting carnauba wax, you're getting fluorine, you're getting that UV protection, and you're getting, I mean, just insane application is couldn't be any easier than that. Uh, just don't forget, again, wait at least 30 minutes after application before you remove and wait actually as long as you can before you remove it. That's even better, uh, either a few hours or the next day. It's going to be yeah, piece of cake to remove. Uh, and also, don't forget, you're getting the maximum performance 12 hours after the application. So when you're done applying, you can drive off in the elements, no problem, including in the rain. But just note that it's going to continue to cure on the surface for the next 12 hours, and that's when you're going to reach peak performance. Now, what else can we say on this? There's a quick tip that Eve gave me. Uh, Eve is a great representative over at Gion. He knows their products inside and out. He's just a great person. I've seen him in many car shows in person. So uh, hi, Eve, if you're watching the video. Uh, he's one of the stars of their YouTube channel that gives a lot of tips and advice. Uh, so one thing that he said is, if you're pairing this up with a uh, slightly more cutting capability for a pad, you can use it as a glaze. Yeah, so it's a perfect way to remove uh, these uh, light holograms and swirls, and it's going to give you outstanding gloss and protection like anything else. Uh, you leave it several hours on the paint. Uh, Eve loves that tip, by the way. Leave it several hours. Go out there, enjoy a coffee. Uh, go out for lunch with your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever it is. Uh, enjoy the time, and then when you come back, it's going to be so easy to remove. In my opinion, the price to performance of the Q2 wax by Gion is so good that it beats out waxes out there that have been staples in the industry for many, many years or decades and sometimes cost three times the price or are very high in the three-figure range or sometimes even in the four-figure price bracket. So again, you're getting a lot for the money. We're talking performance, ease of application, the whole nine yards. You're getting this with uh, the Q2 wax. This is 175 grams, so there's 6.1 ounces in this package so you can coat many many cars with this so a little goes a long way because you're applying it very very thin so again the value for money is crazy so the key features once again you're getting many months of protection out of this 
ease of application, super easy. You're getting all that protection from the waxes, the synthetic sealants, the fluorine, the UV protection, the carnauba wax that's in there, all that technology. You're getting crazy hydrophobic properties. You're getting intense gloss and shine. And of course, you're boosting the gloss, uh, the uh, slickness on the paint compared to unprotected paint, right? That's very grabby. With this, you're gonna feel some slickness underneath. And it just makes your vehicle a lot easier to clean during your maintenance washes. And it just looks better. So if you're somebody who prefers to apply a wax, well, know that they have something amazing in their lineup. Uh, by the way, if you've tried this, let other viewers know what's the expected durability that you have and where you live so people know what to expect. And also, did you find it easy to apply? What are your favorite attributes uh, of this? I'm always curious to have your feedback. Uh, by the way, this can be applied to paint, glass, and wheels, but this can also be used either as a standalone, as we said, on unprotected paint or on top of your existing protection. So it can be applied on um, waxes and paint sealants as well, or it can also be applied as a topper over your existing ceramic coatings uh, like Gion Mose, like Gion Pure, Gion One, or any other coating that you have on your vehicle. Uh, this, by the way, is a great pre-winter type application for maintenance on your coatings. So this is gonna to top off that protection and act kind of like a windbreaker to help protect the uh, the protection underneath if you want. So uh, yeah, just overall a crazy good product. So again, guys, links to all of the products, tools, and equipment will be linked in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. I also want to remind you, this was a video for the Q2 Wax, but we also have a video on Q2M Wet Coat from Gion, the spray-on rinse-off uh, sealant that is so easy to use, uh, crazy beating the hydrophobic properties, but yeah, spray on a uh, spray on a wet panel, rinse off immediately and that's it, you're done. And we also have a video uh, doing a deeper dive on the new Gion Q2M Glass Plus. This is a hydrophobic glass cleaner. How is that possible? Well, go and check out the video. I'll leave those linked in the description for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, by the way. And as usual, yeah, I love doing deep dives and uh, sharing my passion and knowledge with you guys, my viewers. So thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.